Welcome to Leading Edge Martial Arts. Today is Friday, May 1st. Welcome my green and blue belts to this online video for you guys. Joshua Scott and I are going to take you through some fun stuff today. Well, it's fun for me because I love sparring. It wasn't always that way. I was afraid of sparring growing up, but now I love sparring. Um, so we have some stuff for you guys. Before you start this video, make sure you go back to the app. Do the warm-ups. Don't skip over the punt. Uh, the push-ups or the crunches, make sure you do everything in the warm video before you come back. Joshua Scott will lay down all the reps that you need, and he's going to take you through the first part of class. I'll do my match chat, and we'll get into our sparring drills. Joshua Scott. All righty, my green and blue belts, how's it going today? So again, just like Sensei CJ said, make sure before you continue watching this video, you go log on to the Lima app. You go do our warm-ups, you do your push-ups, you do your crunches, you do all the stretches. Then click play, come on back, and we'll get started with the video. Okay, so after you're done warming up, we're going to get into our combinations. For my green belts, we are working on combination number two. We're going to do 20 on each side. I'm going to show you twice, and then we'll do it at full speed. So we're here, we're in our defensive stance. Green number two is a front leg hook kick. One, two, punch. That front leg hook kick, green belt, is just like front leg side kick. I turn that back foot, jam to the knee, kick out, snap to my butt, put it down, front punch, back punch with ki. Again, turn the back foot, jam that knee, kick out, land forward, one, two, punch. Make sure you guys pivot on that back punch. Looks just like this, guys. ki. Again, 20 times on each side. For my blue belts, today we're working on the same thing, blue number two. I'm in my defensive stance. Blue number two, we have that low high round kick. In your low high round kick, make sure you make it look like two different kicks. That low high round kick is not just a bring it down and then straight up. We're not windshield wipers. I know it's raining outside, we're not windshield wipers. It's two kicks. Low, bend your knee, bring it up above the belt, and then kick again. So we're here in our defensive stance. Blue number two, front leg, axe kick. Back leg, low, high round kick. Spin, side kick, back punch, ki. Again, front leg, axe kick. Back leg, low, high round kick. Spinning, side kick, back punch, ki. Looks just like this, blue belts. Ki. Just like that, again, 20 times on each side. Okay, after you guys are done doing your combinations, we're going to move into our curriculum kicks. For my green belts, curriculum kick, front leg hook kick. We just worked it on blue, or I'm sorry, on green number two, so now we're gonna practice it all by itself. At home, if you guys don't have anyone to work with, just look at yourself in the mirror or anything and just work on the technique of the kick. We're not, we don't care about how hard or how fast you can kick. We're worried about how well you can kick. So, green belt, front leg hook kick. Four parts to that um, hook kick. It's just like a side kick. Turn the back foot, chain to that knee, kick out, snap to your butt, and put it back down. So we're in our defensive stance. You turn the back foot, you chain to the knee, you kick out, snap to your butt, and put it back down. You turn the back foot, chain to the knee, kick out, snap to your butt, and back down. Looks just like this. Kia. Stand sideways for you guys. Same thing. Turn the back foot. Chamber. Kick. Snap it. And land. My blue belt. So we're going to work on that front leg axe kick. Same thing. If you guys have parents or a little brother or sister that can hold something for you, hold that paper out. It could be, I don't know, it could be a piece of paper. It could be your homework. I'm just kidding. Don't use your homework. It could be anything, it could be a pillow, whatever it may be. You're gonna work on that axe kick. We're hitting with the back edge of the heel. You're going to bring your knee into your belly. I say all the time in class, it's just like a lumberjack, they have their axe. They bring it in, they bring it up, and straight down. They bring it in, up, and straight down. Same thing with that foot, we bring the knee into our belly. We're going to kick as high as we can, and straight to the floor, hitting with the back edge of the heel. Bring it up, kick out, and straight down. You pick the knee up, kick out, and straight down. Looks just like this. Kia. Again, about 20 times on each side. 
Alrighty guys, so now Sensei CJ is going to come in and he's going to give you guys your mat chat. Alright guys, so we have a saying here at Leading Edge and if you've done word breaking or you've been to those classes, you have heard this before. You have heard Sensei Rob say it, Bethlehem you might have heard me say it. What do we hit harder, a stack of bricks or one board? That's right, we hit them with the same amount of power. Fast forward to a couple years, now you're driving, okay? You get gifted a 1987 Bluick LeSabre, or you get a Bugatti. Which one do you take better care of? That's right, you take care of them the same amount. We hit the same, or a board, with the same amount of power that we hit six blocks. We show our pride that we've done it. Same thing with the cars. We take care of them the same. They are ours. We show pride in what we have. We love them both. We want to show them off. Same thing with your sports and your schoolwork and your home. Okay? Some of you kids play sports. All right? Um, whatever it is, baseball, lacrosse, football, whatever the case may be. Let's go down the road to October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're allowed to wear pink. We got the pink shoes. We got the pink laces. We got the pink sweatbands. We got the pink... Uh, eye shield, we got the pink eye stuff, we got everything pinked out, we are ready to roll, we are ready to show off our breast cancer pride, alright, we want to show it off, showing the best year around, same thing, you get ready for a new school year, mom and dad are going out buying you all the fancy new stuff, you're going to wear new shoes, new pants, with new shirt, your new gel, your new haircut, Bailey, all that good kind of stuff, okay, you're going to look good, same thing here at karate, when you come to class, all my new black belts, you have been showing off all your new uniforms. Your new white top with the patches sewn on, the sleeves hemmed up nice and nice, your nice black pants, your new belt with your name on it and the leading edge martial arts on the other side, nice and neat, nice and tied, everything looking nice and crisp. Same thing, you're at home, okay? There's a piece of trash on the ground. You don't say, hey, Spike, come eat this. No, you pick it up, you throw it away. You're here at the karate. Hopefully you're not here in that rain right now. It's coming down really hard. You're at the karate school. You're up front doing your homework. And you see maybe I left my coffee on the front desk because I got too busy chit-chatting with some parents avoiding the back mat. You come back. You throw it away. Only if it's empty. If it's full, make sure you get me and I'll come get it. Or you're up front doing your homework and you find a piece of gum underneath. Grab a tissue, pick it off, and throw it out. Take pride in where you are and what you love to do. Take pride in everything that you do. Show it off, show it off with pride. Next thing we're gonna come over here, guys, is some sparring drills for you guys, all right? This is for some of those kids who might not have another kid to spar with. That is okay. Shadow sparring is a great tool to use, but until you don't know how to do that, we're gonna have Joshua Scott help me out. He's got a bow staff he's gonna whack me over the head with. I'm just kidding. We're gonna show you some drills to do. Parents, if you're helping your kids out, you can use your hands if you'd like to. You can also use a pool noodle. You can use a screamer stick if you have a bow staff. Some of our elders have some bow staffs you can use. Or you can use a sword or something like that that you have a foam, foam target to hit them with. Okay? Obviously, the softer the object, the more of a whack you can give them. Unless they're giving you a hard time at this point already. I know it's Friday. Okay? All right, so here we are. Um, we're in our defensive stance. Today, we're going to work on counters. So Joshu Scott is first target. He's going to hit me over the head. I'm going to throw a high block, boom, and then a back punch right up to the head. Right after I get my hand back down is when I fire off that cross. He's going to throw that high block and jab. High block and pop. You're going to do about 20 of those, okay? Next one he's going to throw. He's going to throw what's mimicking a jab right to my gut. I had DQ last night, so I'm really going to protect this area. He's going to throw it straight in. I'm just going to parry it. Pop and cross, pop, and cross, pop, and cross, to make sure I'm keeping my hands up and countering. The last one's gonna be that check. He's gonna mimic a back leg round kick. I'm gonna bring my knee up to check the kick, and as I land, I'm gonna fire that cross right to his noggin. Up, fire that noggin. Up, fire. Up, fire. Just like that. I'm gonna do it here so you guys can see head on. Again, he's gonna come over the top. I'm gonna fire a high block and back to the face cross. High block, back to the face with the cross. High block, back to the face with the cross. Now he's gonna come straight in at my stomach. 
I'm protecting. Elbow in, cross, cross, cross. Leg kicks coming around the outside. I need to check. I need to land forward. Fire the cross and reset. Check, land, fire. Check, land, fire. Keeping your hands up at all times. Make sure you do about 15, 20 reps of each of those. Make sure you do front and back. In sparring, you might get hit really, really hard on your left leg, and you're gonna have to switch it up. You don't wanna rely on just one side if something gets hurt. So make sure you do this drill on both sides of your body. All right, guys, you guys have a great Friday. Get to those trains and have some fun.